In TrueSpace we have the problem that you can still see patterns clearly, although the textures has been made seamless. This is the most obvious when you have many repetitions in your texture. This wallpaper effect can't be avoided, but you can reduce it to some level. Why does this effect appear in the first place? Any texture should have a various structure and a pattern to be as natural as possible. That's why I like to make textures from photos. Except the mathematical calculated textures, all textures have a kind of pattern. To reduce it, I will show you some tricks. In this case, I use my wood example, which is not plain, but consists of grain, edges and little mistakes in the material. But let's look at the trick how to reduce the wallpaper effect. That far, I reduce all layers except my basic layer to one. Now I have the cut out version and the seamless version and I start to reduce the picture pattern or better the picture content a little. For example, I see that there are too many nails in this picture. That's why I roughly retouch the picture with the usable Photoshop tools. That far I can use many of the available tools like this smudge tool. You will notice that the different tools will have, of course, different effects to the picture. Personally, I prefer the clone stamp tool. Ok, after I have roughly retouched the picture, I'm going to save it. Next step is to reload the picture in the True Space toolbox. If this did not happen automatically, simply go to the display options. You find this by right clicking onto this icon. In this window you can change a few things, no matter what, and TruSpell will reload the texture. Now you can see that the many repetitions from the beginning are reduced. But we still have to deal with this grey and this dark area. That far I go back to Photoshop for further retouching the picture. This grey area can be colored with a wooden color, for example. Or you can totally change it with the Clone Stamp tool. I save this picture again and reload the texture in TrueSpace. The grey spot is gone and you see that the surface becoming more and more even and seamless with a mostly reduced pattern. Sometimes you need as little pattern as possible, for example if you have large surfaces like a floor. If you are going to create a single object like a face where you have only little replications, you might want to have these little spots and mistakes in your texture. There's another trick I want to tell you now, that is, you can reduce the contrast of pattern with certain filters. We go back to Photoshop. I enlarge the view of my picture and go to the filter. In the Photoshop you find the filter high pass under others. But high pass is quite common and you will also find it in other paint softwares. The filter removes low frequency detail in an image and has an effect opposite to that of the Gaussian blur filter. But we will use it in a different way. The trick is to highly increase the radius of the filter. The filter notices a middle value of X and X defines all black parts of the color. Increasing the radius means I have a bigger area of pixels which are going to be compared to others. Since the area is bigger, I have areas with both dark and light areas. Let's take a look at the level. You see that the constellation of the picture data is neither black or white, but concentrates in a Gauss curve around the medium gray. All color values are orientated to the gray. When I now make the emphasis of the level like it was in the beginning by hand or automatically, you can see much less structure in the picture. When I now reduce the new reduced pattern layer's opacity, I blend it to my original and can now easily reduce the pattern structure. Now I can bring in a little more color. I do this by opening the saturation window under image and adjustments. In this window I use the Colorize filter. 
Here I can now adjust the color until it looks like I want to. I don't need the whole 100%. I can fade this out to 50. Now I save this texture again and go to True Space. Here I change a little in the real-time resolution to reload the new edited texture. Now I have even less structure than before. This way I created a wooden surface which has almost no pattern. 